welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this uh, beautiful basket draft booboo gown with stylish collar as you can see. So I'm going to teach you the tips and tricks to sewing this booboo gown very very beautifully well so if this is what you want to learn in this class i will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn more so here my fabric is duchess i'm using duchess for the two of them so the, the duchess fabric is four and four and a half yards and the lighter one is two yards okay so now i'm going to cut out the from the four and a half yards i cut out two yards so but actually i was supposed to cut out three and a half yards i later realized that there's no basket on the other part so but for now i'm using two yards for the bodies then later i will show you how to go about it the right way so i have to fold the two yards into two so once you fold it into two, this is what you are going to have. You have one yard, one yard on fold. Then I'm going to fold the folded part again like this. And I'm going to mark out my measurements. So from the folded parts, I'm going to take the measurement of 12 inches. So measure 12 inches, that is for your sleeve opening. After that, I want to create a straight line. So I measure 12 inches again. After that is my hip line. And I'll create my mark. Then the length of the dress before the attachment of the basket. So actually there is no basket at the back. But I'll be showing you how to go about it the right way so now i'm going to highlight my lines as you can see so after highlighting the lines we are going to impute our horizontal measurement so i'm going to impute my shoulder divide by two which is eight inches from that point of my shoulder, I'm going to take the length of my sleeve. So my, the length of my sleeve is at 12 inches. I'll add one inch for same allowance, making it 13 inches. You can actually make your the length of your sleeve longer than this. So I'm taking the measurement of what is remaining, which is two and a half, and I marked it on the 12 inches line to create my sleeve. So after creating the sleeve, I'll come over to the neckline. So the neckline width is 2.5, 2.5 inches. And the neckline depth is 1 inch for the back. So I'm going to connect the 2.5 inches to the 1 inch, as you can see. Then for the front neckline, I measure 10 inches from the shoulder line. So I'll come in by one inch and then connect it with a straight rule to the 2.5 inches line. That is the neckline I'll be using for my collar. So next is to come over to my hip line and take my hip measurement. My hip measurement divided by four is 12 inches. I will mark and I'm going to add 4 inches both for ease and for seam allowance. So everything is 16 inches and I'll place it on the hem and connect a straight line. I'll also place it on my sleeve line or my 12 inches line and connect. So I'm going to connect a straight line to the sleeve line. Then I'm going to create my cuff for our kimono booboo gowns so i'll just create that curve right now so the cut the dress is ready now we are done drafting 
So the next we are going to do is to cut out. So I'm going to cut out the back neckline, which is one inch by 2.5 inch width. Then I'll come over to the length of the dress. The length of the dress is actually at 34 inches, 34 inches. So I have to cut the back and front together. I was thinking there's a basket at the back. So, but when I realized that, I now have to add up my fabric for the back. But I will also show you how to cut this the right way. So, after cutting, I'm going to separate the back and the front neckline. So, I will separate it so I'll be able to cut out the front neckline. So, here I'm arranging it so I'll be able to cut it out. So I'm going to cut out the front neckline right now after arranging. So I'm going to follow the chalk line and cut out the front neckline as you can see. So the bodies of the dress is very much ready. So the next we are going to do is to take the measurement of our neckline for our collar. So I'm going to take the measurements as you can see to the other neckline so i have 29 inches and i'm adding five inches to cut out my collar so here my collar is six inches width and the length is 35 inches because i added five more inches to 29 inches i measured okay so i'm going to place it on fold to create a notch at the center back of the collar so it matches effectively or perfectly to the bodies of the dress so i'll bring in the neckline and i'm going to put the seam lines together although there's no seam line but i'll just put it together and mark out the center back so i'm going to place the make sure you hester your collar anyway so i'm going to place the collar at the notch line from the center back and sew to the to that point but before i sew i will have to make a notch please make sure you make a notch on your neckline that is where we are going to fold in this neckline so i made a little notch of about half an inch so now i'm going to place the collar so once I place it at the center back where I have my notch, I will sew up to that notch point and also sew up to that notch point, okay? So I'm done sewing and I gave it a good press. So this is what I have right now. So you can go ahead and serge or weave that part. So now it's time for us to overlap the collar. So I will overlap the collar accordingly. So, but before I do that, please make sure that your stitches stop exactly at the notch we made. And then I'm going to make the notch to touch the stitches just a little bit. So it will be very free for me to fold that part in. Please do the same on the other part. The stitches have to stop at the notch. And I'm going to make a little more notch to touch the stitches a little bit. So just follow the video instructions you'll be able to get this neckline i have a lot of them on my channel you can also check other videos on this type of neckline so i'll just tuck it in right now and once i tuck it in the 0.5 inch i notched will automatically go inside so once it has gone inside i'm going to lift my fabric right now and make a stitch at that 0 0.5 so you can see so i'll secure it with my pin first with the collar so you can see we have some excess at the collar that was why i added five more inches to my measurement so i'll go back to the machine now and i'm going to stitch my collar so i'll go ahead and top stitch at that point which i've done so i gave it a good press and you can see how beautiful my color looks right now. So I'm going to reduce the excess we have and leaving 0 0.5 inch, which I'll later serge or weave. 
So now we are done with the upper part of this dress. We want to jump into the down piece of it where we have the basket. So I'm going to put the dress together. So we'll be able to take the measurement of the length of the hem, hem parts. So we'll be able to sew our basket accordingly. So like I said, I cut the front and back the same length, but I'm going to attach another fabric. So I just went and attached another fabric to make up my length, like I earlier said. So the back is supposed to be longer because there's no basket attached to it while the front is shorter. So I've attached that part. So we want to go over to the basket piece of it. So the basket part of it is going to be at the front. So I'm taking the measurement from one end to the other. There I have 32 inches. So these 32 inches I have now. I'm going to use it to calculate how many number of basket I have. So I'm going to divide my, my basket is 4 inches width. So this 4 inches width for each of them, I'll divide 32 by 4, which is the measurement. And I have 8 number basket, 8 pieces for the vertical basket. So I'm going to, I'm supposed to use this fabric anyway, but I don't have enough of it as you can see. So I'm going to use this other one. So I've cut out the other color for the basket now. So the width of my, the length of my basket, I measured it from the 34 inches. So you can see me shifting my tape. From 34, I measure my length as 60. I added one inch for seam allowance. The width of my basket is at nine inches. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So these eight pieces, I'll pick up one of them, which is nine inches width. I'll place it on fold and I'm going to stitch half an inch, leaving one other part open as if you are making a belt. So I'm done stitching. So I'm going to turn it to the right side. So after turning it to the right side, I'll use this method to turn the eight pieces of the vertical uh, length strips for the basket. Then finally, after turning all of them, I'm going to give them a good press. So make sure you turn it out very well so you'll be able to have the squared edges so here you can see the eight of them are ready i gave them a good press so i'm going to pick them up one after the other so you can see i left one part open for the turning and the other was closed so the open part right now we are going to attach the open parts to the main front dress so i'm going to attach it right now as you can see the front piece, I'll pick it up and I'm going to lay my strip one after the other. One after the other, I'll keep arranging them and stitching till I get to the end of it. So I'll place the next one very close. Please don't give any gap to it. I'm going to stitch at 0 0.5 inch. So right now, I want to show you the right way to cut this fabric. So the, from here, this length to this length is three and a half yards, which I separated. So this is 60 inches length of my duchess. So I'll pick up that side and fold it. That is how we are going to fold it. So once you fold that three and a half, you have that this part on fold and fold it again. You can see how I'm folding it. So... This is my center front and my center back. And the folded part is where we have our neckline, which we just drafted. And this is the side of the dress. So after marking out, just go ahead and cut out the side of your dress. We, we just did this now, but I want to show you the right way to go about it. So you now open up the dress and cut out the front neckline.
So after cutting out the front neckline, the whole length at three and, yard, and three and half will give you up to that 60 inches length. But you are going to measure 34 inches for the front and then cut it out and replace it with your basket. So in case you want to do it the right way, I decided to show you this part, okay? Because I didn't actually know there was, a ba there was no basket at the back. So this is the right way to go about it. So we are going to continue sewing the basket now. So I'm done sewing the strips, as you can see. So this is the length, the vertical part of this basket. So after sewing the vertical part, next is to start inserting the horizontal part of it. So I'm going to use the other color of fabric now. I'm also going to cut the width at 9 inches because it needs to be equal with the vertical part. But the length is at 32 inches because that is the length we measured from one end of the dress to the other. So 9 inches and length is 32 inches. So I'm going to put it together on fold and I'm going to stitch the way I stitched the vertical part of it. So here I have five pieces of feet. I'm done sewing them and I gave them a good press as well. So it's time for the main purpose of this tutorial, which is the basket weaving. So I'll pick up the dark part of it and I'm going to start placing them. So the way it is, I'll secure it with my pin first at that edge. Then I'm going to start inserting it, okay? Just creating a draft with it. So I'll keep creating my drafts. You can see how I'm creating the draft. So I'll keep doing this and closing them up nicely. So I'll keep doing that till I get to the end of it. Then after the first layer, I'll go over to the second layer as well. So you can secure with your pins for each box. You can just take your time and secure. But for tutorial purpose, I'm just securing the ends alone. So after the first one, I'll go over to the second draft. I'll pick up the strip again and I'll start the process again. So if you watch very well, you are going to see how I'm putting up this draft. The first one is on top, but the, the next one I placed it below. Then secure with your pin at the edge before you start inserting the draft. Okay. Of course, you know how a draft board looks like so that is exactly what we are doing for this particular dress right here so i'll secure with my pin and then i'll start inserting them i'll repeat the same process i re i did for the first one so once i get to the end i will arrange and secure with my pin so i'll advise you secure all the boxes with your pin and you need to do this on a flat surface either your table or on the floor so make sure it's relaxing quite on the on a flat surface then secure with your pin so i'm going to insert the third one right now so the third one i'll place it on top just like i did in the first one so make sure you arrange them very nicely because they have the tendency, the drafts have the tendency to shift. So I'm going to pin and lift up the vertical, insert the horizontal like that, creating the draft for the dress. So this dress is actually a creative dress. So you have to take your time to ensure you come out with a nice job so here i've inserted the third one so i'm going to use this process for the fourth and the fifth remember our strips are five so here i'm done i have five of the strips right here so for the horizontal our strip is five and for the vertical our strip is eight pieces so i'm arranging them very very nicely okay so after that is done i'll be going over to the machine to lock the last 
part of it so i will be showing you how to lock it so this is the last part of it please make sure you secure with your pins securing with your pins will help you to keep the draft in place without a shifting or scattering so now i've pinned the last boxes so i'm going to take these last boxes and lock it in my sewing machine so we'll be going over to the machine now i'm going to show you how to go about the locking for the last piece so make sure your strips are equal okay so you can just drag it down a little bit before you pin to be sure it's equal so but before i lock it i'll first close the size of the dress you can see me placing the back piece to the side so just first secure it with your pin on the side and go over to the machine and stitch so i'm done closing the size as you can see right now so so the next thing now is to lock the down piece like i told you so we'll go over to the machine i'll show you how to lock the last one so on my machine now i'm going to use the thread for the dark piece please lock on the darker part of your fabric you can see how i'm lifting it up to lock it so i'll just sew on top of it like this so once i've secured that part it's not going to fall off because it's already secured and it's going to protect the rest of the drafts so i will sew it from that end to the other piece of it and then i'll back stitch at the end of it so i'll keep lifting up like this of course you are seeing what i'm doing then i will stitch to the end of it and back stitch so here on my ironing table the rest of the boxes or the drafts i'm going to insert my hemming gum so make sure you insert enough hemming gum on each box enough hemming gum on each box so this particular work you are going to take your time to do it so i'm going to insert on each box as you see me do so after i'm i'm done inserting on each box I'll come in with my steam iron. So if you don't have a steam iron, just lay a piece of fabric with steam and make sure you iron and iron so that the hemming gun will stick properly on it. So, but if you don't want to use this process of hemming gun, you can go ahead and stitch. As you are inserting the first step, just step by step, you keep stitching them, you know, but I think this looks neater than the stitches so here we are done with this dress so you can see our dress is very beautiful and i believe you learned something new in this class and this is how we we'll come to the end of this tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you once again and see you in the next class bye